This year in English class, I read Stan Lee's autobiography. He was a Jewish comic book writer whose stories became very popular, and his story taught me that you don't need to be a huge rabbi to make a contribution to Jewish history. In fact, just being the best you can be is a contribution by itself. So, the most meaning Jewish experience I've had at this school is the Yom HaAtzmu concert that we have every, uh, not concert, the celebration we have every year when the whole school comes, to get, comes together. And it's basically a day of unity and everyone celebrates and it's really fun because like everyone participates, even the kids who are normally quiet and everything and like it's a lot of fun. In Jewish history class this year, we learned a lot about the importance of Mesorah and how each one of us has a strong, a strong connection to our Jewish heritage. As we went through the year, at every point, pointing out that the Mesorah was continuous, continuing one story, con was continuing one story really interested me. It was the story of Rabbi Huda Levi, who lived during the hard times for the Jews. He traveled from Spain, where he was born, in Cardo Cordova, which was where he became good friends with the Ibn Ezra. But as the years went by and the Jews and the suffering of the Jews continued, to, he began to long more and more for Eretz Yisrael. Finally, after he couldn't live anywhere, he decided to make a dangerous journey to Eretz Yisrael. Although he made it to Eretz Yisrael after a long and dangerous trip, when he got there, he was trampled by a horse because an Arab was jealous for all the love he had for one thing. But as he was dying, his, he sang the songs of his love of Eretz Yisrael. So not only can we learn from this great philosophy and teachings, but we can also learn from him that there's no hope in suffering all around. Just remember our Jewish heritage and that we're really, truly special. Hi, I'm Ruben Melman, and I remember one day in Jewish history, we watched a video about a rabbi that traced his rabbi and his rabbi and his rabbi all the way back to Moshe Rabbeinu, and it occurred to me that I'm part of that same chain that will link the rabbis um, going still onward from generation from generation to generation, and I'm part of that chain straight from Moshe Rabbeinu. Hi, I'm Ben Feld, and my brother Isaac reminds me of what I learned about of Yosef and Chumash. They both overcame the odds that went against them to achieve their goals. Yosef became head of part of the government, and Isaac got multiple awards in his field, which is art. The similarity between someone who is living today to a famous Jewish leader reminds me that I have the potential to be a person who has, the, who has a positive impact on others. Hi, I'm Moki Hamdi, and the most inspirational Jewish thing that has happened this year for me is definitely Yom HaTzmei. It was just inspirational that a bunch of people, our entire school, could just come together to celebrate that the Jewish people finally have a nation, finally have nation, uh, land for our nation. Hi, I'm Eric Broder. One of my favorite mitzvot is tefillin. I've been wearing tefillin since I was 12 years old. The reason I like this mitzvah is because I get a chance to connect with God. In the future, I hope that I'll be able to share the mitzvah of tefillin with other Jews who didn't have the chance at Jewish education. Hi, my name is Zachary Winters, and the most spiritual thing that happened this year for me or in my whole middle school was when ha it was in Hallel when Rabbi Top brought everyone together and the whole middle school was singing and dancing as like one one nation and um, it also felt like that happened in the Beit HaMikdash with all the Levim singing and that was probably the most spiritual thing that I felt in my whole middle school career. Hi my name is Dolly Namro and in Ms. Pepper's Toshba class this year, we learned about the Ramban. The Ramban um, impacted the Jewish people because he taught us about the character trait of humility and how to control anger, which was really important to me because I think that learning how to control your anger can help us through our whole lives, like upper school and college and everything after that. Hi, I'm Gila Gershwin. And I'm Donnie Schwartz. The most meaningful experience we've had in Israel was going to the Kotel. It was really meaningful because you were able to see all the people connecting with Hashem and Dominic. It was amazing to see all the different kinds of Jews in one place and to see some soldiers there too. Hi, I'm Shandel and the most meaning Jewish, meaningful Jewish experience I've had in school was when on Yom Atzmu, um, a lot of people in our grade sat down in the Beit Midrash and we sing songs, Jewish, Jewish songs, and it was very meaningful for me because our grade was unified as one and we all got along together. 
Hi, I'm Rebecca. So one thing that really inspired me, like during the path of Jewish history, was when I first went to the Kotel a couple of years ago. I went to Israel. So I, I was there and I was looking around and then I saw that there were so many different types of Jews there. There weren't just like the super like Haredi people. There was also like regular people and there was like like secular Jews like that weren't even like religious. They were all there. They were all like dominating for Israel and for peace and stuff. And I really like saw that. Wow, like the hotel's been here for 2,000 years, and so have we. Like we haven't like given up on anything, and I really want to like continue that tradition. Hi, I'm David Tabin, and um, the person who really inspired me was Rabbi Krakauer. He's such an amazing example for any Jewish kid who likes to have fun and learn at the same time. He's always like ready to play football. Like we'll always go on hikes and stuff, and during his class, but he'll always make sure we get what we have to do and get it done. And always make sure that like we have fun along with like doing Torah, learning Torah. And uh, I've had it for two years in a row, and he's just an amazing example for any Jewish kid, and I'll probably remember him for the rest of my life. Hello, I'm Zach Solomon. Um, I like the mitzvah of tefillin, and I got my tefillin from my old rabbi who has now moved to Israel. And I've been wearing my tefillin since a little before my bar mitzvah, and. My tefillin brings me closer to davening, and I want to help kids and children in my community to learn about tefillin. Hi, I'm Josh. So just recently, I went on a trip with my grandparents to see all the Hasidic towns in New York. I got to see Flatbush, I got to see Williamsburg, I got to see Crown Heights. But what really inspired me was my Shabbos in Borough Park. So in Borough Park, I got, to have, I got to take a taste of all the different types of Hasidim. I got to see some Ger, I got to, and Ger Hasidim, I got to see some Satmar, I got to see some Babov, even a little Lubavitcher, I think. So um, what I really thought was amazing was that they were still, they were still able to do, um, to do their Hasidus with Simcha, a lot of Simcha, even after all the terrors of the Holocaust and all the, um, the horrors that uh, they, they have faced. So, okay, so what I found was inspiring was not only did they, they stay there, but they actually growed and flourished despite all the anti-Semitism. So, not, even, not only did they decline, but they actually grew. So, Hi, I'm Yaakov Reches, and the most exciting thing for me was the Baltimore Shabbaton because it was a lot of fun to have all the guys over and see like my show and see my house. Hello, I'm Aaron Fields, and I'd like to talk to you about our place as Jews in the 21st century inside the scope of Jewish history. Throughout Jewish history, many Jews have always been Gary and Vitoshavim. They've always been a stranger, but they've also been dwelling. They played an integral part inside the societies they were in. However, they were not, they understood this is not where they belong because they belong in Israel. I learned this amazing concept from Rabbi Weissman, the best Jewish history teacher you can have in eighth grade. He taught us, but this like it says in Shema, Vishinamtam Levanecha, you should transmit it to your children. Our children and our future generations should also know the importance of being connected to their past so that they can use it so they do not make the same mistakes and so they fulfill our dreams of the past generations. One of the most memorable Jewish experiences for me was on Yom Ha'atzma'ut when everybody came together in unity and we're like dancing. Yeah. And I think that like one of the things that like really stuck out to me is that like all the Hebrew teachers got together and they started like intensely dancing and so I feel like that kind of like brought it like like Israel like there's like actually like like it brought like a real connection because like here we are in America with like Israeli people like we're celebrating like together, like no matter where you are. Hi, I'm Tobia Zanerberg, and I'm here to talk about how I like to give tzedakah, and how it makes me feel good when I give tzedakah, and hopefully I can share with my friends, family, and my children on how it is important to give tzedakah to people. Hi, I'm Josh Pizrahi. Um, so like I'm here like because they forced me to come here. <laughs> so I'm talking about the fact like the most like meaningful Jewish experiment I've had like in school. So like I remember like kindergarten or like preschool or something. We went like on these like planes, and like we, we had like a whole ton of fun. And I was like, Yo, Mom, it was really fun. Yeah. Hi, my name is Akiva Berkowitz, and my most meaningful Jewish experience was at Camp Stone. 
as Shloshivat end of Shabbos, when like everyone made a circle, as many circles with their benches, and we slain Shloshiva as Shabbos left, and it was really meaningful to like be with everyone singing about Am Yisrael. Hello, my name is Ariella Rusi, and someone who really inspired me to uh, improve myself regarding my education was my grandfather, Eliyahu Alex Kaplan, um, who passed away last year. Um, I didn't get very attached to him, but after his funeral, my father talked about how he liked to learn all the time, and uh, at, and uh, one of his friends said that uh, he always learned with everyone. He always got people to learn with him. And uh, he was also a very active person. He was the captain of the basketball team because of his amazing defense. They won uh, many championships. Hi, I'm Mayor Goldsmith. One mitzvah that, that is especially important to me is learning about Jewish history. I've been doing this for a year now, and and I thought when I first started that it would be f interesting. I think one reason I look forward to doing this mitzvah is because I like learning about other Jews. I hope in the future I can share this with my favorite teacher, Rabbi Weissman, and my family. I'm Joe Hoffman. One thing I liked about this year is downing for the Amud because I felt that it led that I did with the most concentration. Not out of the whole middle school, but I had one of them. Sup, people. I'm Miriam Licht, and one mitzvah that is especially meaningful to me is Dothnik. I've been Dothnik since I was in seventh grade. So I think one reason that I look forward to, to doing this mitzvah is that I feel closer to Hashem. I hope that in the, in the future I will I will share my enthusiasm with sorry Dominic with my Dominic group. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Hupman and one mitzvah that is especially meaningful to me is living in Israel. When I was seven I moved from New Jersey to Israel. I am very grateful that I had the opportunity to live in Israel. I remember how exciting it was coming off the plane and seeing everyone so supportive, and I knew that I, I finally came home. Even though I don't live in Israel now, I hope one day I will be able to fulfill this mitzvah together with all of Am Yisrael. Hi, I'm Yakova Maber. About two years ago, I had the opportunity to spend Sukkot in Israel with my family. While we were there, stabbings began to occur all around the land, making our time there tense and a little bit scary. We were nervous to be walking around the old city since there were a lot of Arabs there and we weren't sure we wanted to be secluded in a place where we couldn't get help at all times. As the issue got more and more common and showed no sign of end, the Israeli government made a decision to shut down the Arab quarter of the old city and have extra security to ensure that no Arabs would enter that area. This was an eye-opening moment for me because it reminded me that we have a whole state in favor of the Jews on our side. I truly appreciate the importance of sticking to my beliefs and embracing my identity of being a Jew, because at the end of the day, looking past all tragedy, God is on my side. Hi, I'm Bara Flerman, and the first time I really felt super connected to Judaism was at the Kotel. I felt connected for a lot of reasons. One of them was that it's a really ancient place that was built by the Jews for the Jews to serve Hashem in and to get um, forgiven for their sins. Another reason was all the people there, and all the dominating that was going on all at the same time. And then the third reason, that was one of the most important ones, was that it showed me that Israel and Judaism isn't just for you. It's for your entire nation. It's for everybody. Hi, I'm Leora Gruberman. The Shabbat Torah is very inspiring to me because I was so appreciative of how we ate all the meals together. Aww, <laughs> you're so cute. I guess so. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Hutman. And one mitzvah that is especially meaningful to me is living in Israel. When I was seven, I moved from New Jersey to Israel. I am very grateful that I had the opportunity to live in Israel. I remember how exciting it was getting off the plane and knowing that I'm finally home. Living in Israel gave me perspective about what really matters and taught me not to stress out about nothing.
Even though I don't live in Israel now, I hope one day I will be able to fulfill this mitzvah together with all of Am Yisrael. Hi, I'm your Rav Janice, and the most meaningful Jewish experience I have had so far is Shabbos in camp. I saw all these kids dressed in blue and white and heard them all sing Achinu. Some other people who are part of this experience are my friends. I think I'll remember this for a long time because of how United Shabbos makes the Jewish people. Hi, I'm Leo Gruberman. The shower tour was very inspiring to me because I was so appreciative of how we ate the meals together and sang together. It was a good Jewish experience in our own world with all people doing the same thing. One picture I still remember was eating in a big room with round tables and friends setting up the food and hanging around in the kitchen. We got to eat with Ms. Blade and her kids and Rabbi Weissman. We also got to go to Ms. Weinert's house where we made room for everyone to sit on the floor, eat sushi, and listen to Divrei Torah. I wish that my family was there and also my extended family who is not religious so that they could see that being religious is really beautiful. Hi, I'm Zombie Lesnoy and the most meaningful Jewish experience I've had so far was this past November when I traveled to Israel with my mother and sister. The first time walking on the same grounds as my ancestors and all the people that have come before me was so meaningful to me. Uh, we were at the Kotel, we heard um, so many people singing and laughing and dancing, it was amazing. I will carry this for a long time because it reminds me of my connection to the land I was promised. Thank you. Hi, it's Naomi Rosenbaum. This is a poem. Just because I'm Jewish doesn't mean I am greedy, doesn't mean I have a big nose, and doesn't mean we all come from the same place. Just because I'm Jewish doesn't mean I'm not part of general society, doesn't mean I hate other religions, and doesn't mean I'm like every other Jew. Just because I'm Jewish. What is segregation? Is there a thing called segregation? Can't you just like me for being me and not let our religions divide us? I think so. Hi, my name is Ayan Lonsi and the most meaningful Jewish experience that I've had is when I went to Israel seven years ago. The first time I walked to the Kotel, I felt like I was part of Jewish history and felt like I was part of God's plan and he brought us back to Israel after being exiled for over 2,000 years. Okay, hi, I'm Penina Deitchman. The most meaningful Jewish experience that I've had was when I visited the school in fourth grade. It really made me realize how much Judaism I could get out of going to a more orthodox school. After being here for many years, it's made me understand and be more thankful for how much I've learned and how often I can learn. Hi, I'm Danielle Benaharon. So this year, one person we learned about was Ramban, who wrote Iger Ramban. And Igarat Haramban inspired me because it taught us how to control ourselves and control our anger. So I'm going to keep with that with me for a long time. Hi, I'm Rachel, and this year I got the chance to go to Israel for the first time. And one of the places that we went to was Ir David, and the tour guide was talking to us about how that was um, the place where it all started. And when I was going through, like, the different places and he showed us the different tunnels I really felt like I was kind of back in time with all my ancestors and it made me feel really close and connected. Hi I'm Sammy Glassman. This year we're working on the Schneimaker project and this is the most meaningful Jewish experience I've had this year is is because I saw everyone working together and I heard everyone like moving the work along and doing working really well together. Some of the people were helping each other and working really hard. And I'll remember this because it is a good example of unity. Hi, I'm Nava. I'm Eliana. And, and this, this is our Jewish, Jewish History Project, Project video. video. <laughs> the most meaningful experience, the Jewish experience, was when Nava and I went to Israel on our bat mitzvah trip. We went everywhere, including Masada and Gedi and even the Kotel. Um, we even went on the lines that were donated by my family in honor of my grandmother, Tichon Alevracha. While we were there, we picked food for the poor people, and we also went to pantry packers where we packed food for the poor people. When we were in pantry packers, the most memorable thing was when we met these two Jewish American people that went to Israel for only two days. They heard about the hard times that were going on in Israel, and they decided that they wanted to do everything they can to help, so they found the first flight they could to Israel, and they flew there. Their dedication to Israel inspired us for the rest of our lives, and we realized that even every little thing they, we can do to help Israel, it really helps. Hi, I'm Orly, and this is my aha moment. My aha moment was when Mrs. Pepper told us the story of the Holocaust when the rabbi walked into the shelter to save the Jewish kids. When he walked in, when he walked in, he sang Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. He sang this, um, he sang this song Shema because he knew that this was a song that all the Jewish kids would know from their mothers.
this inspires me because when I have sleepovers with Orly, like my little cousin, we always sing it together. I love singing it with her because she has this voice and it's so much fun. This shows that even a young, at a young age, most Jewish children know that this is an important topic. Don't break the chain. Hi, this is Orly Fowler and this is my aha moment. My aha moment was when Miss Pepper told us the story of the Holocaust when the rabbi walked into the shelter to save the Jewish kids. When he walked in, he sang Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. He sang the Shema because he knew that this song all Jewish kids would know from their mothers. This inspires me because when I have sleepovers with my little cousin Orly, she always used to sing it together. I love singing with her because she's so much fun and I love her voice. This shows that even a young, at a young age, most Jewish children know it, it's an important dominant. Don't break the chain! Hi, I'm Miram Diamond. This year in Jewish history, we learned about Chastai Ibn Shapru, who was a big rabbi and worked his way up to be um, a big person in the government. But even while he was working his way in the government and becoming a huge success, he still remembered to help out all the Jews who needed him. And he helped them gain Torah knowledge and he gave them schools where they could learn about Hebrew. Hi, I'm Matan Schiller, and this is my first year in Hebrew Academy. And Hebrew Academy have really expanded my Jewish knowledge um, with all the experiences given, like Shabbatones. My last Shabbaton um, was in Baltimore, and we had learning, we had everything. It was so great. Hello, my name is Ezra Diamond. This year I learned about uh, returning lost objects in Rabbi Middleman Cheer. Like Rabbi Middleman Cheer, it's uh, very free flowing. Um, I feel this year um, my tie to my Jewish values got stronger, um, and I enjoy Jewish foods like cheesecake. <laughs> Hello, my name is Shalom Kot, um, and I really enjoyed this school year, especially Rabbi Weissman's Davening Group, because of his frequent Tavar Torahs on giving Tavar Torahs. Hi, my name is Zoe Levy. Um, I mostly want to, talk, I want to talk about a rabbi that I know from Israel. From where I lived, he um, taught. His name is Rabbi Yaakov. From his first name, um, he he I, he used to help me a lot, and he also I went to lots of shields. He, he answered a lot of questions when I went there. He was very nice. He, it was nice to have discussions with him. Um, and also he made it like very, he made me more understand stuff and kind of, kind of makes me want to just follow what he was saying about the Alachot and what I should or shouldn't do on Shabbat and stuff like that. Hi, I'm Vachara Bennett. The thing that was most inspiring to me this year was Yom Ha'atzeret in school. Everyone came together and it didn't matter what grade you were in. When we sang, it didn't matter how you sounded, if you had a bad voice or a good voice. All right, Pepper explained what the songs meant. I like being part of something big and beautiful. Hi, my name is Judy Guggenheim, and one of the most memorable experiences I've had this year was davening at Rabbi Top's house. All of our minions went outside, and we davened there, and we were all together, surrounded by nature, and it was one of the most beautiful tefillot I've ever had. Ready? Go. Hello, I'm Mal Reed, and something I'll always remember about middle school was the scene we made on Paracacones. I'll always remember how each one of us got to speak and our parents and friends were there. But the thing, but the thing that left the biggest mark on me was Robert Kagawa saying, if you put the work in now, you will always remember this for the rest of your lives. Hi, I'm Aiden Horn. One experience I appreciated from this year was during the months of the Hebrew play, there were six kids, including myself, left in our Hebrew class. And even though there were so few, it remained a serious, but also a fun class. I learned so much during that time period because Mrs. Weissman really continued to put effort into our class, even though there were so few of us. She really cares about all her students and always gives us a good laugh. We're really gonna miss you when you're out having fun in Israel. Have a good year and keep in touch. Hi, my name is Adi al -Tukman. Ever since I was younger, I wanted to move to Israel. Um, my first time in Israel was when I was 18 months old, so too young to remember. But ever since I'd hear stories about Israel, I wanted to move even more. Um, I've been to Israel five times now, but every time I go to the Kotel, it feels like the first. Being at the Kotel makes me feel a greater connection to Hashem, Judaism, and the land of Israel. 
Um, it makes me realize that I'm part of a big, great nation and that I am just part of the Jewish Messiah and that's really important to me. Hi, my name is Shekhevla. One person, that, one group of people that we learned about, we learned about this year were the Maccabee. They had a great impact on the Jewish people because they got back the Beth HaMikdash from the Greek. The, I admire them because they had to be very brave and have great belief in God to be able to do this.